good afternoon we are discussing about the automobile steering and suspension system automobile steering and suspension system are the basic control system of automobile steering system and brake system are the controlling device of automobile first of all we are going to discuss about the functions and requirement of steering the functions of steering systems are to convert the rotary movement of steering wheel into angular turn of the front wheel provides directional stability to the vehicle helps in controlling wear and tear of the tire helps in achieving the self righting effect and why the steering system is required for any of the vehicle it should multiply the turning effort applied on the steering wheel by the driver it should be to a certain degree irreversible so that the shocks of the road surface encountered by the wheel are not transmitted to the driver's hand and the requirement next is the mechanism should have self righting effect so that when after negotiating the turn the wheel should try to achieve straight or hip position what are the components uh, we are going to discuss about the steering system components the main components are the steering wheel steering column steering box drop arm track rod and steering knuckle arm these are shown in the figure in all types of steering system the steering column is rotated by the steering wheel and the steering box contains some mechanism due to the rotation of steering shaft motion is given to the link rod the link rod operates the steering linkage and steering knuckle arm rotates the wheel steering gear is the main, main mechanism of the steering system the steering wheel is directly connected to the steering linkage it requires a great effort to move the front wheels therefore to assist the driver a reduction system is used having a ratio of 10 is to 1 or 22 is to 1. Steering gear is device for converting the rotary motion of the steering wheel into a straight line motion of the linkage. The next one is steering gear are enclosed in a box called the steering gear box. Different designs of the steering gear box are there. These are the types of steering gears. Worm and sector steering gear. Worm and roller steering gears. Worm and wall bearings nut steering gear and another are uh, related to cam and double roller, uh, roller uh, steering gear cam and roller steering gear cam and peg steering gear and reciprocating ball steering gear rack and pinion gear these are all the types of steering gears which are used to re reduction system in the steering system one of the type of steering gear is rack and pinion type of steering gear as shown in figure you can see the steering column is there, small pinion at the end of the steering shaft, it matched with the rack and the rack is connected to the stub axles. The wheels are mounted on the stub axle through the wall joints and tie rods, you can see in the figure. When the steering rod is turned, the pinion turns, it makes the rack move from side to side causing the wheels to be turned. Both the wheels are steered directly. Some of the applications uh, you can see these type of steering gear are used for light car or in power assisted steering. Maruti 800 car employs this type of steering gear. And next one is recirculating ball type steering gear. And you can see in the figure there is worm at the end of the steering rod. A nut is mounted on the wall with valves in the group of the valve. The valve reduces the friction during the movement of the nut on the valve. The valves are recirculated through the guides. These are applications used in Tata and Fargo. The next one is power steering which is commonly used in nowadays. The driver requires a greater force to be exerted on the steering wheel for the steering the heavy vehicles or heavily loaded commercial vehicles 
especially when the vehicle has to take a sharp turn. Power steering makes it easier to turn sharp corners. The power steering system provides automatic hydraulic assistance to turning effort applied to the manual steering system. The power steering system are classified in two categories. First one is integral power steering and second one is linkage power steering. In integral power steering, the main component of an integral power steering system consists of a hydraulic pump is there. That is the assembly of hydraulic pump and a steering gear assembly connected by the means of hoses. It consists of a bomb and ball bearing nut steering gear with a hydraulic rack pinion concentric with the bomb shaft which can add in moving the nut in either direction by means of hydraulic pressure. In the linkage power steering, the power cylinder is not part of steering gear. This is the diagram which is showing the fluid lines of a power steering. These are the some linkages of power steering. In the diagram you can see the, uh, there are fluid lines, uh, rotary valve, steering column is here and hydraulic circuit is there to reserve air and from the pump. Rack is there, piston in the cylinder and pinion is there. And uh, next one is under steering and over steering. What you mean by under steering and over steering in any of the vehicle? While taking a turn, the wheels are not always pointing in the direction in which the vehicle is moving due to distortion of tire trades. The angle between the wheel inclination and the path taken by the wheel is known as slip angle. When the slip angle is greater at the rear than the front, the vehicle tends to oversteer such that to turn into the car more than the driver intended. When the slip angle is smaller than the front, the vehicle tends to understeer. The driver have to rotate the steering wheel more in direction of the turn. Slip angle is affected by the road camber, side winds, tire inflation variations in the load on either the front and rear axles. Wheel alignment is the steering geometry. Wheel alignment is refers to the positioning of the front wheels and steering mechanism that gives the vehicle directional stability, promote case of steering and reduce tire wear to a minimum. A vehicle is said to be in directional stability or control if it can run straight down a road, enter and leave a turn easily and resist road shocks. Main purpose of alignment is to make the tire roll without scuffing, slipping and dragging under all operating conditions. Some of the factors which affect the wheel alignments are there. Factor pertaining to the wheel, balancing of the wheels, inflation of tire, brake adjustments and steering geometry which affect the wheel alignment of steering geometry uh, which are camber, caster, kingpin inclination or you can say steering axis inclination, toy in, toy out, tracking and thrust line, turning radius of the vehicle, scrub radius, setback angles and slip angles and other factors which affect the wheel alignment are steering linkage and suspension system and we will discuss suspension system later. Camber uh, as shown in figure you can see the angle between the center line of the tire and the vertical line when viewed from the front of the vehicle is known as camber. When the angle is outward so that the wheels are further apart at the top than at the bottom, the camber is known as positive camber. And when angle is inward so that the wheels are closer together at the top than at the bottom is known as negative camber. Any amount of camber positive or negative tends to cause uneven or more tire wear on the one side than the other camber should not be increased too deeply. <coughs> There are effects of the camber, we can see the front wheel are not usually mounted parallel to each other but are fitted outwards slightly at the top and inward at the bottom to have position camber. The purpose of the camber is to prevent the top of the wheels from tilting inward too much because 
of the accessible loads or play in kingpins and wheel bearings. Next one is caster. The caster is the angle between the kingpin center line inclination and the vertical line in the plane of the wheel when viewed from the side. You can see in the figure positive caster and negative caster. Positive caster is shown by green line, green arrow mark, and negative caster is yellow mark. Effect of caster caster produces directional stability by causing the weak wheels to lead or follow in the same direction as the vehicle travels. These are the toy in and toy out. You can see in the figure the wheels, the distance between the wheels in front direction are greater than underside directions in toy out and in toy in the distance between the wheels in outer direction is less than inward direction. Kingpin inclination and steering axis inclination. The angle between the vertical line and the center of the kingpin and steering axis when viewed from the front of the vehicle is known as kingpin inclination or SAI. These are some of the figure you can see as AI and kingpin inclination. Scrub radius on the ground or underside of the rim or tire. Positive scrub radius is there and negative scrub radius is there. Wheels have the main important role in the steering geometry or steering balancing. And requirement of an automobile wheels are must be strong enough to perform its intended functions and should be balanced both statistically and dynamically. Next one we are going to discuss about the suspension system and suspension system includes springs and shock absorber and their mountings. Suspension system is divided in rear end suspension and front end sus uh, suspension system. The main functions of the uh, suspension systems are to prevent the rod shocks from being transmitted to the vehicle frame, to preserve the stability of the vehicle in pitching, rolling and while in motion, and to safeguard the occupants from rod shocks, and to provide good road uh, holding while driving, cornering or braking or turning, to maintain proper steering geometry. Requirements of the suspension system are minimum deflection consistent with required stability and minimum wheel hop and many more are there. Types of suspension system, front end suspension, rear end suspension and air suspension system and hydroelastic suspension system. These are some of the figures of suspension system. Coil spring front suspension system is here. Coil spring independent front suspension system is there, which is mounted independently on each and every vehicle, every tire. Leaf and coil spring front suspension system, which is usually uh, used, applied in heavy vehicles. Coil spring front suspension system. This is one of the type of conventional suspension system. Rigid axle coil spring rear suspension system, solid axle coil spring suspension system. Front end suspension and steering, rack and pinion steering and parallelogram steering is there. Front and suspension steering connections, some of the advantage of Mac person strut front suspension system which is usually used in luxury cars or etc. Simple structure is there, light or low cost is there, more more engine room is there, little changes of tire alignment by the tolerance while installing parts, these are some of the advantages of Mac person start. Air suspension system is used, different types of suspension springs are there, leaf spring, coil springs and some of the shock absorbers which is used for producing the damping effect during the vehicle movement. These are the some of the figures of hydraulic shock absorbers and thank you, thank you so much.